Good morning, everyone. I'm Jan Carabeo with your morning digital news brief for Saturday, July 23rd. Police are investigating a deadly shooting near Temple University's campus in North Philadelphia. Police found a 35 year old man had been shot multiple times at the intersection of Broad Street and Cecil B. Moore Avenue yesterday afternoon. Medics rushed him to Temple University Hospital, where he later died. Investigators are still searching for the suspects. Armed protesters are expected to show up at Sesame Place later today after a viral video showed a character here apparently snubbing two young black girls at a parade recently. Civil rights attorney Ben Crump is expected to hold a press conference during that protest as well. Meantime, Middletown Township Police tell Eyewitness News the department is aware of that protest but couldn't discuss manpower. And this morning, the Mega Millions jackpot is now worth $790 million after nobody won last night's drawing. That means it's now the third largest jackpot in the game's history. Eyewitness News in Bridesburg just yesterday where people lined up for the chance to get rich. Now the odds of winning are less than one in 302 million. The next drawing is this coming Tuesday, July 26th. Now let's check the eyewitness weather forecast with meteorologist Tammy Sousa. Hi, Tammy. Well, hello there, Jan. It is going to be fiercely hot, in fact, dangerously hot out there. We have an excessive heat warning through the weekend, and this is for everybody along the I-95 corridor. That's because that is where we have that urban heat island, all the pavement, all the buildings absorbing heat. So from Trenton through Philadelphia down to Wilmington and all of the counties nearby, that is where we are looking at the possibility of feeling like 110 degrees. The rest of the area under a heat advisory, that's the area in this peachy orange and still dangerous heat because you could feel like 105 degrees. We also have an air quality alert. Everybody included in this except the Lehigh Valley, Berks County and the Poconos. Unhealthy air for sensitive groups. That's for today. So limit your time outside the elderly, small children and anybody with health issues. What's going on? We have this dome of high pressure. It's this dominant ridge and this dome has been over us now for six days. We have several more days of this. We're going to watch it slide slowly eastward. Not much in the way of wind to stir things up and it's just really going to bake us. So we're going to be hot today. Here we are this afternoon. Perhaps an isolated pop up storm. Don't fixate on where it just may happen somewhere. It would bring relief. You'd be happy to have it. We could see perhaps a few clouds. I don't think they're going to cool as much. We get into tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning we start with sun and a few clouds. Could see again a pop-up storm in the afternoon. Remaining hot. Dangerously hot though. Then we get into our Monday. The morning starts pretty quiet. We see some clouds increasing. Here comes a cold front. It is still off to the west generating these strong to severe storms about 2 in the afternoon in the Lehigh Valley. Anywhere from 3 to 5 across Philadelphia. Then down the shore. Spotty showers continue into the late evening and then the front finally crosses very early on Tuesday morning bringing us relief. Relief is temperatures in the upper 80s, but when you're talking about near 100, that's relief. Uh, Monday will be our next best chance of rain, and that's followed by Thursday and Friday, but Monday is the day to watch for also severe weather. Anytime you've got this much heat and humidity and you put a cold front uh, in the middle of it all, you're going to be looking at the risk of severe weather. We are level two out of five, a slight risk. That's very bad because we're talking about Monday, several days from now. I have a feeling we will be up to the enhanced and that's even worse. So we have to keep a close eye on the severe weather potential for Monday afternoon and evening. 99 in Philadelphia today, 92 down the shore, 89 in the Poconos. It could feel like a hundred. So please pace yourselves. Shade, air conditioning, water, anything you can do to stay cool and keep your pets cool as well. 80 tonight, uncomfortably hot and humid, partly cloudy out there. We're looking for 99 tomorrow. That would break the old record. We could even see 100, which is the first time in 10 years for Philadelphia. So we'll watch that closely as well. 94 Monday, storms will break the heat and then 88 on Tuesday, which is exactly where we should be with a morning shower. Just as quickly, though, Mother Nature is very cruel. We go right back to the 90s, Wednesday and Thursday. Jam. Short relief, but it's in sight. All right, Tammy, thank you. Remember, you can always get the latest news and weather headlines right here on CBSPhilly.com. I'm Jan Carabeo. Have a great day.